Hey guys, Evil Panda here for my 11th walkthrough for From Dusk. Okay, first thing you want to do is quickly go over to the far totem and hit spacebar on it. You don't want to choose the totem closest to you because you get um, rain like really quickly and then it will just end up flooding. See the time is already up, you got 20, 25 ish seconds and then the first totem will just get completely flooded and you'll lose your city. So while you're waiting for your villagers to walk over to start positioning the explosive plants, so you want to position them like how I'm doing it so that when the volcano erupts it'll blow them all up and then the lava will go down in that direction that you're putting the plants. So you want them to float in that way because um, all the totems are in opposite directions. So if you have the lava going down that way, then you won't get all your villagers burned all the time. Okay, so it's raining now, but since we've got our villagers walking over to the far portal, they should be fine. So while they're doing that, you want to start building a um, way for your villagers that are still on the other side of the water to get across. So as you can see, they're kind of just standing there waiting. So just keep on building your pathway. You've got about maybe, I don't know, like a minute and a half or so until the next lot of rain and volcano eruption. The volcano kind of just like constantly erupts though, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. As long as you do what I'm doing and just build up the side of the walls a little bit so that it doesn't flip over into one of your totems, you should be fine. So just fix up the area around the totem because after it rains you kind of just get water everywhere and you can't really capture anything. I mean it's not too bad but still you want to just touch it up a little bit. So once you've touched it up enough, hit spacebar on it, and this is the next totem that you want to capture. So I've left a gap between like the water and um, this little bit of land so that the lava can't get to it. And the reason why you build the bridge across to those people is because there's enough people sitting on the side of the island to capture that totem. So now you want to start getting lava. And you just want to kind of like raise that side of the island that you're conquering now because you don't want the lava to get onto it otherwise you'll just like burn all your vegetation that you start growing. Okay so I've captured that one. So just grab some more lava and you just want to make sure that your lava is not flowing over in the wrong direction so just place some and then we want to capture this rock which will give us um, another little power bonus that we want so I'm not wanting to get lava too close to the vegetation because I don't want it to burn but I still need a good path for them to walk along so I'm going to send a villager from that totem there and now I'm going to start working on the next totem that I want to capture so I'm using the Amplify Breath power so that I can pick up more lava. And I just want to fix this hole up because as you can see it's kind of getting all the fire. So I'm just going to quickly grab that dirt. Then it shouldn't set on fire. And I'm going to go for the island um, that's surrounded by water. Because it gives you the infinite earth which is like, it's quite good. And also later on the map will, will like it will just turn into a giant lava pit pretty much and if you don't get this totem quick enough um, it'll just keep on burning so if you get it early you can move it to a safer location which is what I'm gonna do so you just need to keep on building around it 
and then I'm going to use the evaporate power and then that will suck up most of the water so then I'll be able to easily walk across and I'm gonna do it probably right about now because um, it's raining and I don't want any more water to happen because if you let it rain too many times it'll flood your villages which is what I don't want to have happen so I'm just gonna evaporate and then as the water level drops it should give me enough room so that I can start sending villagers over to that totem. Alright, that looks like it's good enough. Yep, hit the spacebar on it, send five people. Shouldn't take too long. Alright, now I'm just going to work on this totem, which is what I want for my next one. Shouldn't have hit space over there. Oh well. Um, I just want to, like, create a slight barrier. I don't want any lava to come over. Because I think later on you get, like, earthquakes which change the, where the volcano is and the way you've made the room around it. So it's still important to, to make sure that it's not going in the wrong direction, though. Okay, so I used the evaporate power, so one of the problems with it is that, um... It sucks up all the water and pretty much it just makes all the lava that will come out of the sides just so much worse. Okay, so hold space bar once this um, totem finishes being captured to pick it up and then you hit space bar again to drop it at a new location. So as you can see, the lava is already coming out, and I'm going to place my totem over here on a side of the volcano that's not getting covered by lava. So basically, I'm just going to try and build a slight wall, because I don't really want the totem to get burnt, so I'm going to grab all this dust as well, so any vegetation won't set on fire. And it looks like some of my villagers are getting burnt, but it doesn't matter, because it looks like about five of them are going to make it. I'm just going to try and hold off this lava because I don't want it to get them and just put a little bit of a wall around this totem because I haven't captured it yet. I'm using my infinite earth to quickly build a barrier because the sand, the dusty sand will just react with the lava and create a quick barrier. So hopefully it will stop the lava from being able to touch it. Okay, so I got three out of five villagers at the totem that I'm moving, and another two are just walking up now. Five out of five, okay, so it looks like the totem's gonna move in time. I'm just gonna grab this dust, because I don't want vegetation to grow and burn. Okay, now what I want to do is capture my last totem. So just move this lava away that's around inside of my barrier that I made. And then hit space bar. So the moment that my last totem gets captured, I'm going to want to quickly go to the portal. lava from getting in and my volcano is about to erupt so there may be some issues yep it looks like the ground is moving and now it's going directly for one of my villages but the portal has just opened and I've got a village right next to the portal which is what is a good because it will be able to quickly end this so I'm just going to go and hit space bar on it to send five villagers to it and I'm just going to try and stop this lava because it's so close to my my um, infinite earth totem. I do not want it to set on fire. Okay, hit spacebar to end the stage. 
Perjalanlah kuifikia chakele 